Hello guys, today we'll be showing you how to use uTorrent on your Windows phone. So it's actually not uTorrent itself, but uTorrent Remote. So to set it up, you got to go down into Options, go into Preference, and you got to pick Remote. So once you do that, if it's not enabled, you got to enable it. Chuck in your username and a password. And once you do that, click on Apply. So it will run a small test if you're running it for the first time and once the status is switched to accessible then you can click on OK and then use the Windows Phone app to connect remotely into this client. So once you have your Windows Phone client you can remotely control your torrents, add a new one, remove it or set a priority and things like that. Hey guys, today we'll be checking out the official uTorrent app called uTorrent Remote. So this is the main interface so once you set up your uTorrent client on your PC to enable uTorrent Remote then you can jump into the app put in your credentials and log in. You can even sign up using the app so it'll take you to Mobile Internet Explorer and you can sign up for an account. And once you log in you'll see that it'll pull up the list of torrents that you have and it'll show you the status, it's seeding now and it'll show you what speed it's running at, the size of the file that's being downloaded and how many seeds and peers are there for this particular torrent. You can click and hold to bring up the contextual options to stop this particular torrent. You can add it to favorites if you want so that adds a small start over there. So that's currently stopped and you'll see that it has gone to favorites as well. You are able to add an RSS feed or you can jump into settings to allow touch notification for things like when a torrent has been completed and things like that. So in the client settings you can toggle the scheduler option and set the download and upload speeds. And to add a torrent you can jump in here and click on add torrents and paste in the torrent file so this is a URL ending in the dot torrent and if you click on that button there it will add that torrent into your torrent client and it will start downloading it. So as you can see the new torrent has been added in there and this is currently being downloaded. As you see this is being downloaded and that's currently being seeded. So that is a quick look at uTorrent for Windows Phone. It doesn't download the torrent file to your device itself. But if you click on the torrent, you can bring up the information and you can see everything about that. And sliding across, you see a list of files. So if it's a picture, you can download it to your phone. But sadly on Windows Phone, everything else is disabled. So you can download text files or videos or anything like that. But picture files are downloadable on the phone. And so click and hold to bring up the download option and set priorities. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a quick look at uTorrent, which is the official BitTorrent client for Windows Phone. Thanks for watching.